See, listen to the crowd. They agree 100%, maybe 1,000%. Tonight's going to be a little bit different because there's been some things that have been happening for the last couple of months that aren't necessarily setting well with J-Cap Bay as well as myself. Because there seems to be a tag team around here that likes to pick fights with somebody who literally just had their heart pop and is still sitting there dead running this company day in and day out. These guys that we all know that we're talking about are and be want to complain about opportunities. Well, the way that I see it, they've had more opportunities than I have ever had. Yeah. And if anyone that knows anything knows that I'm one of the people that built a bridge for them to cross to another country while I had to sit at home on the sidelines and watch my boys take care of business in China. Yeah. And I know you got something to say about that too, so I'm gonna break it off to you. So I'm not one that's the uh, real pocket type. But I need to add my two cents because I haven't been around as much. See, there's all this talk about opportunities and loyalty this and loyalty that. Here's the thing, folks. If we don't like pleasant. Loyalty doesn't mean a damn thing. I was no limits champion over four years ago. And I haven't held gold since. Not because I wasn't loyal. Matter of fact, I'm the most loyal because I stuck around when I started for yourself, the bonus boys, and a lot of guys in the back decided to take off and leave that of you. I stuck around. That is true. But because I stuck around, that did not mean that I got opportunities and championships. I didn't have any of that because I wasn't working hard enough. Hard work gets you opportunities. Hard work gets you championships. He should talk a little more often. But now things are different. Death is different. Cody, you and I, after everything, the following to the Strong Style Squad versus the Order, to now Death Proof. You and I are different now. And we are here to work our asses off and become yeah. bad team champions. I can't hear you, Jake. What's the chance? Like the uh, bonus boys are actually going to uh, stand up somebody face to face. You know, it's saying you what, what you want about them. They may complain, they may say things you don't agree with, but they are fighters and they are willing to fight just about anybody. In fact, they want to fight champions, but they've been involved in this back and forth. Brody, Jake Cafe, how many of you want to go? You. You did confront tough guy Sally. Th them last last time I saw him, he ate a super kick for Mice Williams. Well, I'm glad he's recovered. You know, I'm a bit tired of everybody. 
everybody wanted to go run their mouth about our business. See, first of all, the thing is, is that you want to sit here and act like after all the road trips, after all the flights, after all the business talk that we've had, that you don't know what we're going through and why we have an issue with Joe DeFalco? And you pointing the finger, Mr. I left with you. Oh, you mad because we went over to China and because we were trying to put food on the table our parents. Bro, you don't fly up for something you fly You don't even know what we went through out there, bro. Mad hardships. Tell me that I'm wrong. Look, you think that everything that we do in this ring and every all the shenanigans that you want to call it, all this talk is about money? Well, let me tell you something now. When everybody isn't good because money don't make us, we make the money. Because if the money did make us, if the money made me, I would have took it when your CEO of FSW, Joe Falco, offered it to me to stab my tag team partner in the back. And ladies and gentlemen, that's why Joe Falco is a piece of shit. Does anybody else want to know what else makes Joe Falco a piece of shit? have to be put in writing, Sally. But J Cafe, Clutch, one-on-one -on -one gear. Uh, last time we saw a member of Death Proof, Cody was against Clutch. They went back and forth. It ended in a no contest. So what are, what are, I feel like you really do need to sit down and address this. About what? Everything. Everything that's going on. I in take a, the fifth. In a platform where you're not going to be interrupted. Oh man, look at the intensity of both competitors. But you got to do this in a platform where you're not going to be interrupted by Sally. Or even weird, someone on your side like Cody. Remy Marcel, anybody else. Both men. Bringing their A game and really going. Solid clutch. I have to say, since Clutch has gotten very angry at me, he's really stepped up his, uh, he's just stepped up. Of course, he's a talented dude. I feel like in a match like this, the referee is going to have to give a little bit of leeway to both the wrestlers involved, given the personal issues. You know, Clutch can say whatever he wants about not having opportunities, him and the bonus boys and Sugar Brown. But they did get opportunities and they had chances. What the hell? What happened to the leeway? Look, you either just gotta let them settle their difference right this second without the referee disqualifying it or and a cheap shot from Sugar. Right, of course a cheap shot. Well, who's going to separate these guys? I don't know if it's going to be these men. Here comes the Suamacitos and Robbie Lynch. Well, these guys are just crash test dummies now because all four of the Real Money Brothers and Death Proof are on a mission to tear people apart. How are you going to settle this? These issues need to be resolved. And normally, you just put the people in a match, and that's how you end it. But in the case of these issues between the Bowman's boys 
and Death Groove, I don't think that's enough. And Sugar Brown is just firing away at everybody. Well, you gotta hit anything that moves. You don't know if one of these people are somehow been sent out here by Sally to try and make the odds unfair. Same can be said for the other side. A lot of these, a lot of the competitors you see in the ring right now look up to Cody and Jay. You know, this is the most the most emotion I've seen from the bonus boys in years. I guess getting under their skin might be working, Jake. I guess that's what your goal is here. Letting them believe what they want to believe. Clutch, no matter what you say to him, I've known him for eight years. You know, Clutch believes what he believes. You know, another one of those delusional lands. And they're breaking free just to try and beat each other up again. The Shining the Order restored, I don't think, I know, it's not an I think. I know these men don't want the Order restored. I know the fans don't want Order restored. The problem is, the thing is, this issue needs to be settled at some point. But without a doubt, nothing has been settled tonight, Jake. No, it's gotten worse. What's it gonna take to try you and sign this match? You understand me? January 25th. We want them in a cage. You make it happen. Well, Sal, they had a good idea. Hey, see? No DQ! No DQ! No DQ! No DQ! I think we're gonna take it a level up from this no DQ, guys, if the match gets done, if the match gets made. You know, that sounds like a good idea. 